Tom Keen On Demand, presenting a bonus premium podcast, only available to subscribers. This is premium content, a bonus interview only available at Tom Keen On Demand. Uh, I'm Tom Keen in Davos, the scene of the 40th meeting, the World Economic Forum. And Ken Pruitt is at Bloomberg World Headquarters in New York. Joining us now, Meg Whitman, special advisor to eBay. Ken? Ms. Whitman, you've been involved in politics before on a national level. You campaigned for John McCain. Before that, you campaigned for Mitt Romney. Uh, to what extent is the Massachusetts Senate election to the credit of Mitt Romney? Well, I think Mitt was a help to Scott Brown, for sure. Um, but I think what Scott did was um, capitalize on the feeling of so many Americans that, you know, things aren't going that well. We don't have the kind of change that uh, anyone bargained for. And People are just frustrated with the process. You know, I'm not sure that it was so much about the health care bill per se as the process of, you know, buying off, you know, Senator Nelson and Senator Mary Landro and then, you know, okay, now we're going to have a tax on these Cadillac health care plans, except for some of the people don't have to pay the tax. So that's my view. I think people are frustrated with the mm-hmm. process. So Mitt was a help to Scott Brown, but I think he capitalized on the moment for sure. Is Romney the next Republican presidential candidate? You know, I don't know. Um, I, I know, you know, I think he's looking at the race. I don't know what he, what, you know, when he will decide. But, uh, you know, Mitt's still very involved and in, in campaigning around the country for, for candidates, including me, which I'm very grateful for. A mega fractious California race, looking at the power of many values of success in business and life. I love these phrases near the end of the book. Stop dithering and act. Focus. I love this one, Ken. Be brave. How about I am a problem solver by nature? If you become governor, you are going to deal with the sixth or seventh biggest nation in the world, and I'm told it's an argument, uh, argumentative legislative body. How are you going to be brave with them? Yeah. Well, I think the first thing is um, it's about leadership. And as I write in the book, you know, strong leaders paint a vision for what's possible and they inspire people to work together with a real focus. And I want to focus on doing three things and only three things, and that's creating and keeping jobs in California, cutting government spending, and fixing our kindergarten through 12th grade public education system. And it doesn't mean other things aren't important. They are. But if we don't fix these three things, we have no chance in California. And so I want to enlist the legislature to go after those three things. And trust me, I understand this will not be easy. But I think with a different approach, with focus and with leadership, we can make a lot more progress than we have in the past. And frankly, we have to. Because California is, you know, really... um, on the brink of disaster here. We have a $20 billion budget deficit in the next 18 months, and we're going to have to turn that around. I think we can. I have confidence we can, um, but it's going to take a different approach. Well, you promised not to raise taxes, which pretty much leaves you with cutting spending, and so much of the out-of-control spending in California has to do with pay and benefits to public sector unions. How do you possibly turn that around? Yeah. Well, the first thing we've got to do is we've got to shrink the size of government. Um, You know, today in California, there's 357,000 people who work for the state of California. That's up by 40,000 workers over just five years. So my view is we've got to get back down to, to the number of workers we were five years ago, and that will help on the pension issue. Second, new civil servants have to come in under a different deal. The pension benefits for the civil servants in California are simply not affordable by the state. You know, most people can retire at 55 if you're a civil servant with um, basically 85% of your benefits and full health care benefits till the day you die. It's, it's simply not affordable. Even Willie Brown, you know, the Democrat, former Democrat uh, Speaker of the State Assembly, has called for a change in pensions. Mm. So when Willie Brown is calling for something, you know we're in deep trouble. Well, again, how do you turn that around? I mean, the, the well, automobile industry was able to turn yeah. some of that around, but they had to f- well, file for bankruptcy first. Yeah, and, you know, California cannot file for bankruptcy. So we've got to get the number of employees down. New got new people have to come in under a different deal. And then we're going to have to decide um, for the existing folks with benefits what can be done about that. And then, you know, we'll have to go after other elements of the cost um, in California. We're going to have to use technology to do more with less. We're going to have to look at our, our welfare situation. You might have read that we have twice the population of New York, but five times as many welfare cases. And uh, so welfare can't be a way of life. We've got to get people back to work. Well, we need to you know, go back to work and get a GED or do other things. So Ma- those Ma- are the kinds you know of things the- we have to look at. You know the address, 2145 Hamilton Avenue, San Jose, California, 91525. 
are employees of eBay like enough? Are they moving out of state? And if they are, how do you keep them in California? Yeah. Well, California is the highest place, the highest cost place to do business in the country. And uh, so we've got to do a couple things. One is we do have to cut taxes over time. Um, We have the highest personal income tax, the highest corporate income tax, the highest sales tax. But I don't want to do an across-the-board tax cut right now. We can't afford it. We just got finished talking about the budget deficit. So let's have some targeted tax um, relief that can spur employment. Because the ultimate way we can increase revenues in California is we can put people back to work and get more businesses to stay, to start and to stay in California. So that's the first thing. Second thing is regulation. We are strangling businesses of all sizes through regulation that is duplicative and not clear and not helpful to so many businesses. So those are the two things that, um, you know, I'd want to go after in terms of of keeping people and businesses in California. You're going to have to convince a lot of people to move back. I mean, we have recent figures from the Census Bureau showing California is not going to gain a congressional seat. You're right. And California has gained congressional seats in every census since 1850. Yep. In fact, we're probably going to lose a congressional seat because about 3,000 people a week are leaving California. And, you know... It just comes back to, if I could only do one thing for the state of California, it would be to change the business climate, make it more business friendly, where it's the very best place to start a business and to grow a business. Can you get elected, um, Meg? Meg, can you get elected with that tone? Oh, I think so. I think, you know, when I have traveled the state, do you know what people's number one issue is? What is it? Jobs, jobs, jobs. And they are, you know, just desperately concerned about the high unemployment rate that we face and that we have to turn this around. And I think, you know, no matter what your interest is, people understand that without employers, there are no employees and that we've, we are driving businesses out of California. We're still a very much an innovation engine in California, but we've got, we can't let another job leave for a neighboring state and we can't let another job leave for overseas if we can help it. Do you need help from Washington to be able to do that? You know, um, it would be nice to to get some help from Washington. You know, Governor Schwarzenegger has asked for um, some incremental funds. Frankly, I don't think it's practical. And we're going to have to solve our own fiscal problems. We're going to have to get our own fiscal house in order without the help of Washington, D.C., I think is, is the reality of the situation. And I don't think that's all bad. You know, we have kicked the can down the road in California for so many years Frankly, um, it's going to be the right thing for us to to solve our own problems. We've been talking with Meg Whitman. This has been a bonus premium podcast only available at Tom Keen On Demand. Copyright 2010.